Welcome. I'm Lenworth Jacobs, the Vice President of Academic Affairs at Hartford Hospital and Hartford Healthcare. I'm here to talk about a serious issue. There have been a number of intentional mass casualty events, like the Boston bombing, which have caused a number of casualties. The purpose of this exercise is to increase survival from these kinds of events. This is a tourniquet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a tourniquet. It is important to know when to use a tourniquet. The bleeding has to be severe and not stop with primary pressure. The tourniquet that I'll demonstrate has a windlass and a clip. There are four major components to this type of tourniquet. The band, the windlass, the clip, and the strap. These are the steps for a tourniquet with a windlass. Slide the injured extremity through the loop of the self-adhering band. Pull the free running end of the self-adhering band tight and securely fasten it back on itself. Twist the windlass until the bleeding stops. Lock the windlass in place with the clip. Ensure the distal pulse is no longer palpable. Write the time on the strap. This is a bleeding control bag. The bag can take care of about 20 people who have severe bleeding. It has shares, gloves, tourniquets, and hemostatic dressings. Look for these red bleeding control bags in a white box in public places. What we have shown you here today is vital to save somebody's life. We encourage you to practice on a friend or colleague until you're confident that you can apply this properly. 